guys, it's me, Anna Noel, and today I'm going to be doing a Boohoo try on haul. So I bought a good amount of stuff from the store called Boohoo. For those of you that don't know, it's a website that has pretty affordable clothing and accessories, so I'm going to be reviewing those today and showing you everything I got. So we're first going to start out with the accessories and wardrobe items I don't have to try on. So I bought these white booties, and they were only $25, so I think they're a really good deal. Um, I absolutely love them. The only thing is, I think they may have been returned because there are some like little scuff marks on them, but nothing that wouldn't happen within like the first five minutes of me wearing them. I don't know if you can tell on there, but there's a, that's my only complaint as far as sizing. I'm a size 10 and I would say these are really true to size, um, but they do come with the UK size stamped on them, so I kind of had a mini heart attack when I looked at them and saw that they were eights so don't freak out if you order shoes from boohoo i then bought these stiletto peep toe mules they are in nude and i really really like these they're very short heeled so they're easy to walk in and i really like how wide the toe toe box i think that's called is because i have big feet and so that definitely leads to a more comfortable shoe um, I would say the quality is really great in these and I'm excited. I think they're such a staple shoe that I can really wear with almost every outfit. These were only $21. So then I ordered this bag that actually came up on an ad, which I'm not typically fans of the stuff they show on ads, but I actually really liked this. It was only $12. Get ready. Drum roll, please. It's the cutest little bag. I'm obsessed with tiny purses, even though they're not the most realistic. I just think they're so cute. And it says designer logo on the top and insert cash here, which I just think is pretty funny and I like funny things, I guess. And it's super cute. I think it's just the cutest thing. And it comes with a chain so you can make it a crossbody if you want. But for me, I just think it's perfect for going out or going anywhere where you just kind of need a lip gloss and a debit card and you just wear it as such a statement piece. I love it. $12. So then I got a belt that was only $6 and I'm obsessed with it. It has a gold buckle and has gold detailing all the way down and I just think it is really cute and you can really dress up any outfit by adding this belt. I'm obsessed with all black outfits. I wear them way too much so I can just throw on this belt and it'll be a way more fancy and unique look from my everyday black outfit. Okay, so now we are going to get on to clothing. I'm gonna start off with my favorite item. I'm so obsessed with this. All my friends I've shown it to, they actually are all buying them as we speak. Everyone's obsessed with it. I think it's so amazing, and I cannot so wait to show you this guys. set also comes in different colors. The one that I bought came together as a set, and it was only $30. It's these sweats and a sweatshirt that I'm gonna try on for you guys anyway, so I'm not even gonna show. But it has the word woman written all over it in cursive, which I think is so cute and empowering. I love it. And it's just a really comfy sweatsuit for only 30 bucks. It's $15 a piece, which is not bad at all. You could totally dress it up with some jewelry and some heels, or you can just wear it as a comfy around the house outfit. I'm obsessed with it, and I'm going to probably be wearing it every single day. So I'm normally really skeptical about buying jeans, especially when I'm not able to try them on. I have a really hard time finding jeans that fit me well and that are comfortable and are very like, jean-like fabric. I don't like the whole jigging thing. So I was skeptical about these, but I reached out to some friends and I found out that you have to size up. So I did that and I'm actually obsessed with them. These are, I believe they're boyfriend jeans, yes, boyfriend jeans, and they are $21, so not bad at all, and they have holes down them, I will show a clip wearing them, and I am normally a size 4, and I sized up to a size 6, and they fit me really well along my thighs, however the waist is a little big, but you can always get the altered, I mean they're 20 bucks. come on, how much better can you get? I really like the feeling of them. I think they're just so cute. Once again, you can dress them up, dress them down, kind of do whatever look you want with them. Great staple piece, highly recommend. So then I bought this corset shirt and on the website, it did look a lot more shiny, like um, shimmery kind of. So it is a lot 
I guess on here it does look pretty shimmery, but that's because the light's hitting it. I don't know. It On the website it looked even more shimmery, but I'm not upset about it. I still really like it. There was only sixes left, so I bought the six. Um, normally I'm a four or, yeah, about a four. But this is a big six, so I would definitely say it, the, this does run big. I'm going to have to get it taken in, but I do really love it, and I think it is such a steal for only... I don't know, I think it was $12. So definitely recommend, but size down with this puppy. So then I got the joggers, and I got them in tall because typically cargo pants and joggers, I'm 5'8", and normally they are way too short on my legs. So I got the tall version because Boohoo does have a lot of really nice different sized collections for different bodies, which I really love. But they were actually pretty long on me, so I think I could have gone with a normal pair. But I got a size 6, and they definitely are big. I could have sized down, but I think they will still fit. They are lined with a little bit of a more breathable fabric in the inside, which is nice, because a lot of times the faux leather pants can get way too hot. So I do like that. It does pucker in some weird places, so that is my one complaint. However, I, this is the one I was kind of debating on returning, but I ended up saying, you know what, it's 20 bucks. Let's just keep it, see what we can do. I can always get some things altered and it would be worth it for that price point. So lastly, I got this tank top and I think it is so cute. I already have one similar to this from Brandy Melville, but Brandy tends to overprice their things that are super simple. So this is only $6 at Boohoo, but Brandy would probably be like $20. Um, and my one from Brandy has now gotten stretched out and I love this tank top. I love the simplicity of the straps. I wear them to open calls for modeling a lot. It's like my go-to casting t-shirt or tank top. So I knew I needed to get a new one once mine started getting worn. And I'm really happy with this. I actually like it better than the brandy because it's more of a slinky fabric compared to like a cotton, I would say, that the brandy is. This one, I just feel like you can dress up a lot easier. So I do really love that. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe here and watch my next video here. Please follow me on all my social media channels and like and comment. Let me know if you buy anything from this haul and what you think about it too.